Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And it is a beautiful day, beautiful fall day here in Leduc. And uh, the sun is shining, the sky is blue, and hey, we're getting new RVs every day. It's been absolutely fantastic because I've been checking in two, three, four new, brand new RVs at our dealership daily. And uh, Grand Design has really stepped up their uh, the amount of production that we're getting, the amount of RVs we're getting. And through that, they're also updating the RVs and really uh, pushing the envelope and coming out with some new cutting edge things. This particular trailer here, folks, is a 2022 redesigned, Imagine 2400BH. The 2400BH, folks, has been in the Imagine lineup for quite some time. It is a performer. People that wanna have a very well-made, very structurally sound put together product by a grand design across the board, you get that. Um, but if you're looking for a bunk model travel trailer that's under 30 feet, um, that will allow you to sleep, you know, up to, you know, six, eight, potentially 10 people inside, you can definitely get it done here with this Imagine 2400 BH. Couple of fun facts on this floor plan, folks. This trailer from Hitch Coupler, just so you know, Grand Design, how they measure their trailers, is from where it hooks up to the truck, boom, right there, to the rear wall. Now I say rear wall, meaning that the ladder that goes out beyond that, the bumper and spare tire, is not included in the length of any Grand Design trailer. So just be aware of that. On the fifth wheels, it's the king pin that drops down up front to the rear wall. So in a lot of cases, the trailers are gonna be slightly longer than what the tow length is. So just be aware of that. 28 feet, 11 inches with the Imagine 2400 BH. You will see it has a completely new redesigned front end. Um, new paint, new graphics. Um, I really like what they've done. They've made the front end look a little more substantial. Before, the lower J-wrap right here, or lower rocker panel, um, from here, the white, the white here started here and went up um, with some, you know, textured paint, rock guarding and stuff that they used to have. With this one, they've run the paint all the way up and across, so it makes the front end, I quite like it, makes it look more substantial, a little beefier, a uh, little more, I don't know, again, substantial. Um, and then they run that, that thicker textured paint across the front to help prevent from, you know, rock abrasion and those sorts of things. So really nice touch. They've got the silver swoop here with the integrated LED docking light. I think they've done a phenomenal job with the front end. And then as we shoot down the side, you'll see the new graphics package as well. So, but true to form for Grand Design folks, structure caps. These, this cap serves a purpose, not just to seal on the front end, but to help tie in the front end of the trailer, to the sidewalls, to the roof, to the floor, all of those things. They use structure caps so that when that cap goes on, it goes on perfectly square. Uh, and that's what you want with a grand design. The other thing with this particular trailer is that it's a fully painted front cap. It's not a gel coat cap. So far less chance of fading and discoloration as the years go by um, on a grand design trailer. They just, they just stand the test of time when it comes to the fading they also use a upgraded 3m graphic with a higher uv coating on it so as the sun's beating down on the side of your trailer your graphics they're gonna hold up a lot better uh, which is really nice as well again grand design true to form we call this fifth wheel like pass-through storage grand design first manufacturer to come up with the drop frame chassis in a travel trailer giving you almost double the amount of pass-through storage that you see with still most of the industry uh, not doing this but with grand design this belt molding right here represents where your main floor is that main floor usually continues all the way across and with grand design they drop that storage floor down on top of the a-frame at the front of the trailer giving you what i would call fifth wheel like storage um, pass-through storage drop frame storage a lot of your fifth wheels with the lippert z chassis like in the solitude products have a drop frame chassis and that's what you get with an imagine uh, in this 2400 bh the other thing from day one enclosed utility center you can keep your water hookups fully protected from the outside uh, which is nice you can run your fresh water line up through this porthole access right here hook up your city water connection here you can fill up your fresh water tank just by flipping this blue lever over 52 gallon fresh water capacity by the way and they have upgraded the gray and black capacities which i'll explain shortly 
Um, and then over on this side, you've got dual motion sensor lighting on that bulkhead wall there. Um, you've also got the tire link tire pressure monitoring system um, or pre-prep for that, if you will. Uh, you can buy the, the, the kit from our parts department. It comes with the module, the uh, sensors that go on the end of your valve stems, and you can you know, manage and monitor that, that air pressure in your tires as you're towing. Uh, but again, all aluminum framing, fully bead welded together. Classic Grand Design folks, known for their, for their, uh, their storage compartments. So um, that is what we would call a solar charge controller. It's an MPPT charge controller, 25 amps, and that's tied to your 165 watt Furion solar panel up on the roof, which we'll show you when we jump up on top. But coming standard with the, with the all new Imagine, one of the really nice upgrades. Now new, uh, sorry, not new, but the unloaded vehicle weight, we'll just shoot up on some weights here for you. So the dry weight of this trailer, UVW right there, 5,796 pounds. Okay, your GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating, the maximum the trailer can weigh legally is 7,495 pounds. Difference between the two weights is your cargo carrying capacity of 1,659 pounds, which is very, very respectable. That is a fantastic weight. Um, average family of four is gonna take anywhere from 800 to 1,000 pounds worth of gear with them. And again, with the Imagine having those upgraded or oversized holding tanks with your 52 fresh, your gray capacity on this trailer is 82 gallons, which is two gray tanks, and then your black tanks, 45 gallons. So really, really nice tank capacity. So you wanna have that nice cargo carrying capacity to be able to move all that around for you. Again, fully enclosed, heated underbelly with the Imagine folks. Just look how clean their underbellies are, okay? Where you see plumbing coming out the bottom, they'll spray foam in and around just to help prevent the little critters from getting up inside. And again, at the back where your drains are, um, your gate valves for your tanks are all up inside that heated and protected and insulated area as well. So. Um, Grand Design just going the extra step, the extra mile. So we're gonna shoot around this side of the trailer, but you can see the new graphics package on it. I'm just gonna give you the, the difference here. I've got a, we got a customer's unit here for service right next door here. So here's the previous graphics package, which looked really good, but you'll see the front end just a little different. Okay, where that J-wrap or lower rocker panel starts over to the new Imagine, new graphics. So a little more substantial. They've got some really nice accents, some shading in the graphics package. I just really like it, it looks, uh, looks sharp. So we're gonna whistle around the backside of the trailer and kind of do how we normally do it. It's just a little tighter coming down this one side. So again, you have a dinette slide with your refrigerator in it. No, I'm just gonna show you, cause we're gonna talk about the fridge when we get inside. Can you, if you see it, but beside this big window is where the fridge sits in the slide out. There are no vents, no vents. That's right, 12 volt fridge inside. So we'll explain some of those things, but Grand Design square slide boxes, folks. You can walk on their slide outs. It's a fully laminated slide box. All your windows are framed out in aluminum. So if you took this window out, you would see an aluminum tube, not just block foam, unlike most of the products in the industry. And again, the roof panel up here, folks, is insulated, laminated, aluminum framed, fully bead welded, just like the sidewall is on this trailer, okay? Side wall, side walls, every vertical wall panel in a Grand Design trailer, fully laminated, built to exact specifications. And that's where the difference lies with Grand Design. The other difference, all the aluminum framing, the superstructure that's laminated within the side walls, where steel screws get fastened into the wall, whether it goes into an aluminum tube, they stuff it with a wood dowel, or where that ladder's mounted, the feet to the back wall, they laminate sheets of steel within their side wall so that steel screw can bite into something solid. Most products in the industry, they're not doing that or they're not stuffing those aluminum tubes with wood dowels to support those steel screws. And that's where you can get moisture intrusion after a couple of years on your trailer and get delamination and those things. Grand Design go on the extra step, okay? Um, new update for 2022, you can call this the 2022.5, new exterior capital griddle. They used to have a pullout range that would barely, barely hold a frying pan. Uh, used it for years, it worked, um, but this works even better. Love the griddle. 
It's got the grease catcher in it with the little tray in the front here. It's got the, uh, the heat shield back here as well, place to put all your sauces and everything. So beautiful cooking surface and it ties in to your barbecue quick connect right here. So in that barbecue quick connect, you can actually use for a portable fire pit if you want. Uh, lots of flexibility with the, uh, the cooking area. The other thing, Grand Design, they try to cover always, you see the awning right here, covers your outdoor cooking area as well. Be aware when you're out shopping, a lot of manufacturers will go to a cheaper awning where it won't cover your outdoor kitchen. So if it's raining, it's a lot, you know, it's not as user friendly. Whereas with an Imagine, your 2400, your 2800, which is slightly bigger than this. I shot a video on that there a few weeks back. Um, but that outdoor cooking area is completely covered from the elements, which is nice. The other thing, outdoor uh, spray port as well. So you could set up a, a cooking table here, a real nice wash basin. Uh, the nice thing about the spray port as well, because the steps fold in and out of the trailer, Grand Design's giving you that access to be able to spray off the steps if they're dirty before you bring all that gear inside so you're folding in a nice clean step. So again, they're thinking of not just how to build a trailer, but maximizing your enjoyment when you're using your trailer, which is really nice. The other thing, full 21 foot power awning on this particular model as well with the integrated LED light that's the full strip okay so that light acts as your outdoor light um, when the uh, awnings fully retracted you can totally use the light as we are right now and then when that awning comes out you'll have a beautiful beautiful outdoor camping space on this trailer so there's your Dexter towing system again grand design this year upgraded to the Goodyear Endurance Tires. Dexter is a North American company. They give you a five-year warranty on your axles. Uh, you have never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs. If you're kind of a, the type of person that likes to do things on your own and fix things on your own, you're a bit of a handy, handy man or woman, um, you could definitely do a full wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway without removing the tire. And there's a way to do it, but uh, really simplifying it. Uh, Dexter is with, that, with the, um, the hub on here which is nice. So, and you get a five year warranty on that tire, 12 months, no questions asked, replacement. So again, just shooting back here on the Imagine 2400 BH. We're gonna jump up on the roof here shortly, but again, just huge, huge pass-through storage compartment on this model here. Couple things, 35,000 BTU furnace. This trailer is gonna heat up fast. Okay, that's the same size furnace that you get in a big 40 foot solitude as well. And again, with Grand Design and their R values, industry leading, the thermal barrier that they have in their roof, which is the same roof construction throughout all of their products, they're not deviating. Um, full walk on roof, R40 through your roof, down your front cap. In the Imagine, you've got an inch and a half thick sidewall, which is an R7. When you go to the reflection, R9, two inch wall. When you go up to the Momentum Solitude, two and a quarter inch wall gives you an R11. And then on this particular product, you, through your floor, your entire floor, and it's fully insulated as well as R30, uh, which is nice. And the way that they heat those tanks, folks, is you have a dedicated heat duct that blows heat down into that holding tank cavity. It's not a radiant heat. So you, when you see heat registers on the floor in your trailer, what heats the tanks is heat loss. It's radiant heat off of that heat plenum. That's that groove cut in the middle of your floor for the heat to travel down up here in Canada. That really doesn't do much. Plus you can develop soft spots on your floor and those sorts of things. With Grand Design, no need to worry about that. Okay, there's your outside speakers as well. Hood fan, vent. Okay, they actually put that vent in. We're seeing a lot of products today where they don't put the vent in, they just recirculate it back inside the trailer. So buyer beware costs more to cut a hole in the wall and put a vent in which the benefits are far far superior so we're gonna jump up on the roof here folks and uh, talk a little bit about it just a sec all right friends we're up on the roof of this grand design imagine 2400 bh fresh arrival one thing to note i literally just checked this trailer in it just arrived we've done absolutely nothing to this trailer and that's a testament to grand design and we're going to show you inside i'll tell you We've checked hundreds and thousands of trailers in over the years. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Not hundreds of thousands of trailers, hundreds of trailers and thousands of trailers in over the years. And I'll tell you, we're like the last 80 feet of the assembly line, not with grand design. And we'll talk a little bit about that when we jump inside, but we're up here on the roof and guess where I'm standing? Right on top of the slide out. 
all right? We just don't explain on the videos, we actually show you on the videos. Fully laminated roof panel, full walk-on slide boxes. Why is that important? One, if you, if you camp and live in an area where there's lots of trees and you know things falling from the trees like little branches and pine needles and leaves you don't want to be you know having that land on the top of your slide out which it will and then bring your slide out in and have that all pile into your seals you could damage your seals and you know cause moisture intrusion those sorts of things so with grand design by building a full walk on roof for one every single trailer they build they put a ladder on the back because they want you to be able to access the top of the slide out or sorry the the roof to be able to do roof sealant maintenance uh, change a roof vent uh, inspect what's going on with your rv uh, but also sweep off the top of the slide out before you bring that in very very important but uh, right up here at the front i'm just going to show you there's big t one of our technicians world famous right there <laughs> solid dude um, the amount of sealant that they put on that die core that self-leveling sealant they layer it on thick i would encourage you friends if you are out shopping for rvs see if you can climb up on the roof a lot of trailers today still don't have ladders on the backs meaning that in some cases they don't have walk-on roofs okay grand design puts that walk-on roof so and again yes solar panel 165 watt Fury on solar panel. What's really nice about this is you can, I believe, add up to two more 165 watt panels to the roof of this trailer to give you more solar capability. And you have a lot more real estate here to be able to do it. So if you wanna go beyond that, we would just simply have to upgrade your charge controller to let's say a 50 amp charge controller. And then you can add you know, a few more panels on top of that. So, all right, lots of vents, one in your bedroom kitchen area bathroom you've got the skylight um, that's where some of the you know other manufacturers are holding back to save cost is they'll use for example the roof vent in your bathroom they'll use it as the skylight above your shower as well with grand design you get the skylight if you're a taller person your head can go up inside a little more it's a lot brighter too and there's a window in the side this bad boy right here friends that is your attic vent so what's nice about an attic vent very similar to your house is it allows the heat to escape on those super, super hot days. But on the cooler days, when your furnace is running, propane heat has moisture in it. When you're cooking, when you're showering, when you're inside using the trailer and it's a little cooler outside, it actually allows that roof to breathe and allow that moisture to escape that can build up inside the trailer. If you're looking at something with a laminated roof, beware that you may just get some moisture droplets on the inside of your trailer because those roofs don't breathe very well. So just be aware of that. All right, and that Alpha Superflex TPO roof membrane helps that water and it's that rain's coming down. To, there's a real nice arch to this roof. The truss in it in this roof is actually a 16 inch on center wood truss with your wood roof decking all mounted down with the TPO Alpha Superflex glued right down to the roof. So any snow that builds up on the roof, it's going to melt rain coming down. It's going to help that water run off the roof of the trailer, which is very important. OK. We're going to jump down inside just a moment. All right, friends. I just want to say, you know, when we shoot these videos, um, we free flow them. Um, we don't edit them. Um, we just we just let it roll right from the heart. So you're getting it uh, raw. Um, don't necessarily have a lot of time to do a lot of editing, but we want to give you a lot of detail with our videos in terms of how the products are built and what separates them from a lot of the, the other products in the industry. So helps you buy an RV because I'll be honest, you'll go to every single RV dealer, they'll tell you they got the best product. No different than I'm saying a grand design is the best, but I'll tell you what, watch the reviews, read the reviews, um, go to the grand designs owners forum, grand design owners, uh, hear about the stories, hear about the kind of company that grand design is and the things that they do. The values that they have match perfectly with the values of the dealership that we are and the things that we do. This area that we're shooting the video in right now, this is our delivery area. So if you buy an RV from us, you pick your RV up in a covered delivery area, rain or shine, your trailer gets hooked up like it's at a full service campground. I mean water's in it, city water's on, every light button, switch, knob, appliance feature is running on your RV prior to you coming to our dealership to pick up your RV. And then we take you through your RV and we show you how to work everything, but we show you that everything is working, all right? 
and that really has helped our customers have such an amazing experience at our dealership here in Leduc. And for that matter, all of our dealerships, that's the DNA that's baked into Woody's RV world as a whole. You can expect that when you buy an RV at one of our dealerships, you're gonna be treated the same way, all right? And uh, that's what you get, the Woody's RV difference and why our values are very much a lot the same of what Grand Design has, customer service. All right, enough of that. We're gonna jump up inside on this nice solid step. Again, 28 feet, 11 inches in this 2800 BH. The thing a lot of people love about this trailer, folks, gigantic dinette. This dinette tabletop is the largest in the Imagine class. This has a makeshift or convertible U-shaped dinette. So I'm just gonna crouch down here. That right there, this piece of little furniture here, the U portion, that's an ottoman. So that ottoman represents what it takes to create the U-shaped dinette in the trailer. Really good for little ones. You know, if you've got little ones that are kind of sitting on their knees, you know, three, four, five-year-olds sitting on their knees eating, um, you know, their breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever the case is, it's going to give you that, that real nice flexibility. But if you've got some larger people, larger kids, and the U-shaped portion is just a little too small, you can take that ottoman out it just lifts right out. It's a piece of furniture. There's storage. That lid right there, it lifts up. There's storage inside. And you can take that ottoman out and put it on the outside part of the dinette right here. And what that gives you is it still gives you the same amount of seating space, but what it does is it gives you more foot space. All right, because U-shaped dinettes are famous for giving you lots of backside space, but not a ton of foot space. The feet sometimes are a bit crowded. All right, and so by taking that ottoman out, you can effectively seat five very large people around this dinette. The other thing, this is a lounge dinette. So with Grand Design, you'll find with a lot of the U-shaped dinettes, and that ottoman you'll find in most of their dinette, booth dinette floor plans, by the way. Um, they put the cushions underneath the window. So you could literally slide your backside in there, kick your leg up on the seat here. You got your entertainment cabinet right across. That TV's on an articulating arm. You can actually pivot it towards the bunks as well. Um, but you could sit down here for and watch a whole movie very, very comfortably and have the benefit of a table to put snacks and those sorts of things. Um, your back cushions, they are two-sided, so they give you that, they call it buffalo check, which is a lighter plaid material, helps stylize the inside of your trailer, but you can actually spin it around. So if you got the little ones, they got the cheesy fingers or spaghetti or whatever you're eating, you just spin those back cushions around and, and it's protected. So um, this tabletop as well, it, it's a high-low table, so it will swing down and it will seal in the base to allow you to turn it into a bed as well, which it's a nice deep bed as well, nice and wide, nice and long uh, for bigger people as well. One thing to note, Grand Design, huge windows. Every single window in this trailer opens, and you will find that in most of the Grand Design trailers. There may be only one or possibly two windows in some of the larger fifth wheel floor plans that do not open. Um, in a hallway or at the back behind a kitchen or something like that. But Grand Design, one of the DNA items is they invest in windows that open. The other thing they invest in is gigantic windows. One, they're not afraid to spend the money on a great big window. Secondly, they put the structure in the window or in the wall to support a big window. Some manufacturers can't claim that. So Grand Design folks, slide end windows open. They also do the pull down roller shades that are a true blackout shade versus the pleated shades that we still find in the industry where the strings stretch out and they don't stay up very well. It's an emergency exit as well. Okay, um, Shooting around the fridge, this is a 10 cubic foot. This is all new, 10 cubic foot, 12 volt only refrigerator. This is the way the industry is going. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about this. This is new, paired with that 165 watt solar panel and 25 amp charge controller, okay? You will find the 12 volt fridges on the Transcend, which they've been running for about a year now. The Imagine, both lines, the XLS and the Imagine, and all of the Reflection products, and I'm hearing that they're gonna be going beyond that. Not just the Grand Design, the industry, okay? 12 volt fridges have, um, it takes a bit for people to get their heads wrapped around it. I'll be honest, it took my head a little bit to get wrapped around it because we've been so used to the gas absorption fridges. But I can tell you folks that the, the testing that these fridges have gone through, um, the cooling capability that they have, 
uh, the off-grid capabilities and off-grid modes that are attached into them um, are working extremely well. Did you, if you recall, I noted on the outside of the trailer, there are no outside vents. A gas absorption fridge, that's how it can cool, is by sucking in the, 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 using the air, ambient air temperature from outside to help cool the back of the fridge to help your gas fridge run efficiently. Well, I'm telling you, the world's getting hotter place, and when it's 35 degrees Celsius, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's warm, especially for us Canadians. Um, 40 degrees Celsius, your gas absorption fridges work, don't work very good. Okay, that's the beautiful thing about a 12 volt fridge, folks, is they're insulated, they're protected. This fridge will cool to proper temp in like an hour and a half, where a gas absorption fridge will take a lot longer. So, um, again, this is the way the industry is going. It's a larger fridge, 10 cubic feet. Um, every fridge requires fuel of some kind, whether it's electricity, residential fridges, we've seen those in the industry, gas fridges, and now the, the larger 12 volt fridges. So it requires fuel, whether it be propane or electricity. Even the propane fridges use electricity to run as well. Um, we have to replace that fuel somehow, some way, and that's how why Grand Design puts the solar panel on for great support. Um, and a really good set of six volt batteries will really help ensure that your, your your camping experience will be great, which we would recommend six volt batteries on any RV, whether it be a gas, you have a gas absorption fridge or not. So um, we're onto the kitchen in this particular one. Couple things, folks. Grand Design, they do give you that flip up counter extension. What's really cool about this floor plan is when the slide out is fully retracted, you can still access your pantry, your, your kitchen area, your refrigerator, um, you can do some you know, meal prep if you need to with the slide out in, grab a meal if you're on a big long journey, um, and you can access those areas without having to uh, flip the slide out. Um, the other thing is the amount of storage that you have in this kitchen. You have an, a fantastic pantry, very deep. All right, you've got the drawers here. You can utilize this for bunk storage as well if you so choose. Um, right underneath your oven and range, you've got a really nice big pots and pans drawer with fully adjustable pegboard there so you can position your pots and pans so they're not sliding around inside your drawer. Of course you've got the oven and range, uh, thermal foil countertop, it's a sealed countertop, under counter mount sink, you can roll your sink cover back, all right, exposing that large, large sink. And if you spill something here, you just wipe it in, it's not hitting the edge of a sink, which is nice. Um, the other thing you get with Grand Design folks, and I encourage you to do this, open up the kitchen cupboards. You'll find with a lot of products in the industry, when you open them up, there's no shelves. That's because it's cheaper to raise the cabinet up and put on a smaller door. With Grand Design, they're putting a bigger door on, lowering it down and giving you a shelf, effectively giving you double the amount of storage or usable storage, if you will. So, European hinges. This is a European um, poplar. Uh, this is a veneer wrap door. It's not MDF. Okay, Grand Design does not use MDF in their cabinets whatsoever. But this is a solid European poplar, uh, which is extremely strong but ultra lightweight. Um, they use a veneer wrap on this just to help keep it consistent um, in terms of the look. So really nice two-tone cabinet, really beautiful, nice, easy to grab hardware, that sort of thing. So there's your hood vent, hood fan, um, stereo, all Bluetooth capable. So you can stream Roku TV. So if you can connect to Wi-Fi, you know, you can stream your, you know, your YouTube, your Netflix, Prime Video, all of those things. So um, the Compass Connect system is what comes with this trailer as well. Um, so this uh, control center here is where you can connect to your cell phone using the Compass Connect, you download it to your phone. You can operate the lights, the slide out, your awning, uh, which makes it really nice if you happen to pull into the campsite and you're by yourself and you're not quite sure if the slide out will hit a tree outside. You can outstand on the outside of your trailer, connected to your trailer, opening the slide out right from outside, watching how close your slide out comes to your to that tree or what have you. Same with your awning. It gets you outside beyond the trailer so you can see what's going on. So. Um, Again, your tank monitoring is here. Uh, your hot water heater, which is gas and electric, 17.8 gallons, uh, sorry, 16.8 gallon quick recovery per hour. 
So if you've got a family that you need to shower, you know, dad can hop in, then mom can hop in right after, then you can wash the little ones. You're not having to sit there and wait too terribly long for that water to heat up again. Uh, before we jump into the bathroom, again, you've got really nice size bunks here, real thick bunk cushion, USB connections with, uh, with light, individual bunk privacy curtains. We're seeing a lot of products still. It's cheaper for manufacturers to do one track with one long curtain. Well, not everybody's going to bed at the same time or getting up at the same time. So to have individual bunk curtains is kind of nice. And then this area here, this will actually flip up and you can latch it right up here and you can put real tall things in like bicycles or a dog crate or you know if you got kayaks or what have you. So real nice fully framed in bathroom door as well. You'll find with some products they use this leave a big gap to the roof and then they'll put on a real short door, cheaper door, right? Less framing, less materials, less time to put in. Well, with this, you got that fully framed in door, more like home. Towel rack mounted, porcelain toilet. You got this beautiful um, towel rack where you can roll up your towels and stack them in beautifully. Real nice shower. It's got the Nautilus shower curtain. So what's cool about that is when this retracts back in and the moisture on the back of the shower it actually squeegees it off as it's rolling in and it runs that moisture back down into the shower pan and drains out. But one thing you'll find, no heat ducts on the floor in the bathroom, in the living area, in the bedroom on this trailer, folks. So again, moisture on the floor. Heaven forbid your toilet backflows on you. You don't have to worry about that stuff going down your heat vents. The other thing, Grand Design, lots of counter space. They give you the cabinetry, spot to put things, real nice vanity here. It's not just a mirror screwed to the wall. And they give you a window too. So if you're showering inside, it's hot, you open up your vent, turn the fan on, crack a window with the door closed, and it'll help that moisture get out of the trailer. All right, Grand Design giving you that ability. And again, you got that pull out, pull down blackout shade as well but you'll see stainless steel sink, beautiful setup. And we're on to the bedroom, master bedroom. All right, you're gonna find the front bedroom in Grand on the Imagines are pretty consistent, pretty much the same, especially the front unit here. So storage unit, Grand Design, they do the storage above your bed. They don't run it all the way out to the outside wall because that would push your, cap, your, your wardrobe down, okay? Grand Design has done a phenomenal job maximizing the radius of the front end of the trailer because in a lot of cases, you know, drawers are built square, they're built rectangular. Um, when you have a radius front spot, you know, your trailer's radius in the front, you can have some dead space in your cabinetry. So Grand Design has been smart in utilizing that dead space. So you storage above, they put the cabinet, your hanging wardrobe, all the way to the, to the ceiling. Okay, they give you two drawers on either side of your bed, not just one. We're seeing some trailers where they end the cabinet here and then you just have a, a shelf and then underneath that shelf, the storage goes all the way to the front of the trailer. Well, it's like, how do you get what's at the front, right? So with these guys, one, two, three, four drawers in your bedroom area, which is fa fantastic. A lot of trailers, they don't even have drawer space for your undergarments and things of that nature, right? The other thing, lots of walk space around the bed. They don't do king size beds. So the benefit to that is you get more storage. And secondly, you can actually walk around the bed. And because they do a drop frame storage up front, the storage box right here in a lot of trailers where the storage compartments sit on the floor to give you any amount of outside storage, this box pulls forward this way and it makes it a lot more difficult to access the storage above your bed because you're having to stand way back here or on top of your bed to access your storage. With the drop frame storage up front, your storage box is pushed forward with the queen size bed, residential queen by the way, 60 wide by 80 long. You can walk up if you're a shorter person, you know, shorter lady, shorter fella, you can get right up close and access easily your storage. You're not having to stand on your bed to get to it. Okay, these are the things that Grand Design is thinking of. All right, the other thing, did I say four drawers? How about a sliding tray as maybe your fifth? I'll just tuck the mattress cover out of the way. So this has a sliding tray that you can take out. Whoop, it dropped down. That's a nice thing about this one is you can take it out. This slides across so it'll allow you to access the storage on either side. 
that could be a laundry hamper for you um, but you can take that drawer right out and use it as a storage crate to carry the things from the trailer back into the house or vice versa between camping trips but you'll see you've got you know they cap it off real nice they do a double gas strut this is what you get with grand design folks it's all in the hidden details that maybe you might overlook when you're walking around the inside of a trailer okay the other thing uh, not just the drawers but they give you the storage cubbies all right, that storage cubby with the radius of the front of the trailer, as I mentioned, square, square drawers, rectangular drawers, Grand Design's utilizing that dead space and giving you a 110 plug USB connection on both sides of the bed. So if you've got a CPAP machine, you want to plug your cell phone in, you know, do those sorts of things, you have that real nice storage cubby built right in for you. So, and again, the amount of drawers you get in a Grand Design trailer overall, four five in your bedroom six seven eight nine ten ten drawers in a 29 foot travel trailer i encourage you go into the other products in the industry folks count the amount of drawers that are in a trailer drawers are expensive to build grand designs giving you lots of usable storage with that so i know i've talked a lot i've given you a lot of detail thank you for hanging in with me and again, yes, we are Grand Design Bias here at Woody's RV. We're in, in Leduc because we just believe in the product and uh, we know it's, they've, they've been successful with it. Uh, not Grand Design specifically, although they have been. The people that are investing in Grand Design trailers are ensuring that they're going to have a great camping experience supported by a great company that stands behind their product and supported by a dealership network that is there to, uh, uh, to help you along the way. So... Anyway, my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm with Woody's RV World in Leduc. We'd love to invite you down to our dealership to check out the Imagine 2400 BH. We're landing trailers daily. We've got a great supply of product coming in. And uh, yeah, hey, why not buy a trailer? And who knows, maybe you want to do some fall camping, winter camping. We can help you out with that. So again, 780-986-1234 is our phone number. And this is it. Be safe, take care, and happy camping.